Hi guys, this is Amnal and we are back playing Stellaris. In the previous episode we got the, the tradition that allows us to get more anomalies and be better at uh, researching them, so let's actually look at, uh, look at our leaders and see if we have any good... Uh, well, not really. We have a field manipulation, guys. Um, so this is going to be our researcher that we are going to use on the science ship, in which case the anomaly research speed would seem like a good thing. Uh, but anomalies actually don't take that long, and this is a very minuscule uh, gain. On the other hand, we uh, our whole military research is going to 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 uh, lay upon the uh, our ability to 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 research physics related things uh, and one of the uh, most uh, common types of research in this field is uh, field manipulation uh, funny enough so we are going to pick that and we'll be switching between uh, the the computer guy and uh, the the field manipulation guy whenever we can uh, speak him as uh, outright, uh, well, of course it would be better to get uh, the things such as, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, Spark of Genius or Maniacal, but well, there we are. Mm. That's going well, and uh, let's actually build that uh, science ship. There we go. Ge geothermal. Alright, measures panning observed from the orbit and mm, is the motion of whatever. And we established communication with... Uh, oh, okay, that was actually... Uh, so I was right. Uh, they were the uh, the merchant guys. I must have uh, found the, the, the other guys somewhere else. Well, first of all, okay, we got shitloads of free energy credits for, for the time being. It's a shit world, so well, this isn't enough anomaly, I would say. Oh. And even better, we got a lot of engineering research out of it. Hmm. I mean, we need physics more, but... Yeah, well, I guess we'll go for both. Anomaly found. Anomaly found. Let's research it. We need to get some some more minerals uh, soon enough, and uh, but I think this is this is too good of an opportunity to pass. Uh, field manipulation guy, please, and uh, well, I guess, uh, well, I guess I will start with this one. Things we can actually use right now, so. Mm, okay, you know what? Let's just start with this uh, here and here. Of course, uh, this guy is actually going there, but uh, oh, I, I will re uh, readjust his orders uh, accordingly as soon as we finish this researching. Uh, solar sailor, one solar ship around Trappist two. Okay, some, some free engineering research. All right, so. Uh, you are going to actually do that first, and then you are going to uh, research things that we actually uh, can build stuff on. I would kind of like another free mineral somewhere there. That would be a very worthwhile investment in the time, for the time being. Uh, how are we on our birth of a new guy? Seven months. All right, so we need to suddenly switch off. Uh, some things uh, probably we will probably cut some energy research because we are pretty well uh, doing pretty well on that uh, construction ship finished and I ordered you to do this one first oh it probably was only going for a bit well there we go a few more months Okay, well, that's not helping us that much. Uh, assist research... Mm. Well, I think we'll just go for research speed. I mean, they are a military bunch, but they are also xenophiles, so uh, I think we can uh, troll them into 
I'm not getting at war with us before we are ready. At at war with, at us? Yeah. Don't killing us, yes, that's that's what I mostly meant. And that's a pretty damn okay, yes, that's a pretty nice system. Uh, definitely fair. Next thing that we are going for is this bit, although we do not have uh, the minerals just yet. So this is another uh, two asteroid, two uh, are eh, okay-ish. Mm, what do we see here? Mineral side, I really don't like it. This is outright useless. Uh, I mean, of course, the problem is that this is a bloody long research. 30, uh, 38 miles, but this is the only useful one, and we will need to get it uh, soon enough. And I don't think we uh, are going to be able to get the Void Crowd guy anytime soon, so. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, going with Corvettes. This is, of course, the research line that leads to the, the bigger ships and the bigger sizes of spaceports, which is, is, is fairly essential. Mm, what is that? And this is weird. Hmm. I think I... Okay, I've... Ah. And that's probably just a just a research. That's another empire, isn't it? Yes, that's that that's a constructor from another empire. So and there is another empire somewhere here. Hmm. So we aren't blessed with unlimited free space, apparently. Who knew? Yeah. So definitely, we need to 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 start. Uh, well, basically, rushing in that direction. Uh. Build the mining stations. This one, this is the only mining one around there. Uh, physics research, uh, well, overall research is pretty nice. Ah, oh, starvation, right. Uh, we got surface. Uh, puh -puh. Oh, there. Fixed. Biological pop happiness. If you starve, it's just minus 10, really. That's a bit lax, I would say. Alright, we will be at minus 1 after we finish this, but that's okay. We have another uh, plus 2 credits there, because, well, it will take us a while to, to actually get more uh, more research, uh, more energy in our capital, so it's, it's good that we found some uh, free raining uh, energy sources yes yes i know we are we are in debt or well, not in debt uh, what is it no, we have negative balance yes that's the world uh yeah nothing much very interesting happening so okay so this is the home system let's see no this is the home system uh this is the continental world zeta aliens Right, let's see what's our day about. Um, I think we're going before. Uh, so, you can uh, investigate uh, those aliens to get a little bit more influence, but I think that, uh, well, with the fact that we've taken uh, additional influence and as a hive mind, we have one more as well. Uh, actually, the the society research is more scarce of a uh, of a resource, so I, I'm uh, happy enough getting the the, the lesser amount uh, that the person that uh, hasn't researched that gets. So, uh, oh, because we haven't uh, discussed uh, right, we haven't discussed ascension packs. Uh, you probably are aware that uh, every time you finish uh, the the tradition group, you get ascension packs. Uh, ascension pack, and uh, you are able to to to, to get those uh, various huge bonuses like uh, plus twenty five border range, uh, plus ten percent research speed, uh, 
that's some unit out, put capital and you can't take the data. They are different, but so those are basically a basic ones. Like, uh, Master of Nature, I actually like, quite like, which basically makes uh, removal of, uh, tile blockers free. I used it in my first game to test it and it was surprisingly good mid game. It allows you to, to save a lot of resources uh, of both ty types in, in, you know, the, the time where you actually need them the most to, 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 to expand. Your empire, so, so uh, it's not something that uh, you, oh you cannot replace those things. So it, it's a uh, it's uh, you know something for something. Uh, you are not going to use that very well uh, in the late game, but early game very powerful stuff. But then come uh, the, the the things that and plus additional five sectors. So those are basic ones, like the ones I, I showed you now. Now there are the the, the things that are sort of end game goals or your your main teams uh, that come from uh, various uh, you know science fiction ideas so the one i discussed earlier was that in my previous game uh, i uh, basically turned into the uh, transferred consciousness of my whole species into synthetics into robots so you first you uh, turn yourself into to augmented human cyborgs and uh, then you basically be become um, become one uh, with, with all the robots you've been building which is, which is you know an interesting uh, approach to immortality uh, the other one which i also tested is is uh, the a psychic uh, bit that there have been the psychic abilities and and uh, psychic research in the previous uh, versions of the game but now, now they are much uh, more pronounced and uh, this is probably the the, the most interesting uh, route actually in in the in the YouTube expansion and there are some bits that allow you to 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 uh, terraform better whatever and you know, this is interesting, one plus 200 naval capacity, although you, you have to uh, pick it up as a third pack at best. And, but uh, what I'm getting into, oh, and of course there are mega structures. Uh, so you can get, uh, if you go void born, you can build habitats, a huge uh, stations that are basically planets in their own right uh, with, specific, with uh, buildings and such, although those are different buildings that you built on planets so it's it's a it's a whole whole new feature there are ring worlds and other galactic wonders such as century array science nexus dyson sphere uh, you know so this is a whole different thing but the thing we are going to go for in this case i think is the the the, the last one that i haven't discussed which is engineered evolution we're going to genetically uh turn our species uh, much uh, genetically enhance our species, which I think suits pretty well with, with the, the the whole swarm idea. So, and uh, that's one of the reasons. So that's uh, why I kind of want to to start working on our society research, but because all the gene uh, manipulation is uh, related to that. Yeah, that was a run, but. Uh, I try to, as you probably noticed, I try to spread land, runs between various, uh, uh, between various, uh, between different episodes, but, uh, those things have to be, uh, discussed, I'd say. Uh, right, let's, um, which way I want to go. So we are basically blocked from here, but by this empire. Uh, I guess can, Tests uh, the waters. What's there? It's, mm, we've been there now, so let's go like this. I'd say. Uh, yeah. Still, still checking this whole area, but yeah. Okay, that's that's proper scouting queue. Ever seen one? Uh, do we care? Well, I guess. Yeah, it's, we'll try to come back this way until we die. Okay, so Youth Empire. I recover that two facts that say that this thing they have did this region of stars roughly six million years ago based on the age of the artifacts. Uh, the aliens called this them the Youth and uh, appear to have been very large and flat and 
anthropoid anal analogs. Okay. Uh, it seems uh, a single individual could uh, reach the uh, length of nearly a hundred meters. Wow. And it was apparently exceedingly rare for more than uh, two or three youth to travel abroad the same space. All right. So we'll check that. Uh, basically, you get uh, one of those precursor chains that are several uh, each time you you um, in, in each of your games, and we got the youth. I don't think I've done this one, so it should be interesting. Uh, right. Uh, I don't think we want uh, more research yet, so let's go here and uh, actually we may be colonizing that. Um, so. Basically, if you build a mining or research station on a world that you colonize, you it's 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 worthless. It's, it disappears. Uh, so on and off chance that we will be colonizing this to secure all this all these bits around here. I'm going to to to, to start with this one. All right. Mm. Situation log updated. Uh, investigate. Eta aliens, and that's also another empire. All right, so okay, so th they will have better things to do than to pester us. Although I imagine that uh, kind of means that they are going to expand in this direction. That, uh, that was a continental world, and they have ocean world and continental world. So uh, yes, they can definitely expand uh, in uh, into those two, and they most likely will. Uh, on the other hand, there isn't much in that regard around here, so... Uh, well, there's a Gaia ward, but it's a small one, yeah. We should be able to uh, pretty much secure this whole, whole area, unless we uh, fuck up real, real bad and uh, get, for example, blocked by those guys or whatever. Alright, let's keep going. Communication established, and you are hegemonic imperialist. You are authoritarian, which now means that, uh, well, it's similar to what uh, collectivist used to be, uh, but uh, and now it's limited in a way that you cannot simply enslave a, a species in a, in a standard way, but you use a caste system, and uh, yeah. But can displace aliens, whatever, and they are militarists. Well, not not a nice bunch, those guys. All right, so we are, we basically know both. And Bavi technocracy, uh, fanatical materialists, and egalitarians. Uh, technocratic meritocracy. All right. Yeah, they should have their, their hands full. Wow, okay, so those guys got the uh, advanced stats though, a start though, which is an issue. Uh, yeah, what is the, the your pre preferred uh, kind of... Where, where do you check that? I mean, this looks like, what, uh, Alpine or uh, Continental? Oh, right. Uh, continental preference. Fair enough. And they closed the borders, but we managed to sneak through without getting... Uh, because now if they close borders, you are getting uh, lost in space, and uh, after a while you return to your own ports. So it's not as it used to be that so you, you, you get the chance to, to, get, uh, to get away. You kind of get teleported back here, which is would be a pain in the ass since we uh, want to uh, do some more exploration. Hopefully the, the other guys are not going to close borders on us. Uh, how, how much do you hate us? Not that much. But neither did they. Hmm. Fair enough. And we get the planetary surveys. And that should uh, speed, our, uh, speed up our research exponentially. Now, uh, so Hmm. Probably. Well, actually, for now there isn't much in terms of, uh, you know, uh, mining stations that we can build. So, but uh, all in all, that uh, minus thirty percent, thirty-three percent on mining station is is a great start as well. 
And as I mentioned, this one isn't uh, too shabby. So, well, we, depending on how the situation develops, we'll either, uh, as I mentioned, dip to here or go straight for finishing expansions, expansion from the get-go. Uh, okay, I think some of you... Okay, no, you actually do have some orders. And you later survey that and survey this on an off chance that we want to place that. Mm, 10% failure risk, sure. Let's, let's risk it. Yeah, so as you can see this side, because, well, that can be, I don't know, plus 3 something uh, out there. That's a nice thing to have. Um, now, I think we ought to build that that, that mining station here, uh, despite not having, uh, you know, reduced costs or whatever, but because, well, as I mentioned, we will uh, have trouble uh, keeping up with our production, and we do uh, want at some point to to to, to upgrade our uh, our mining uh, things. Thing is that uh, this basically means one resource uh, for ninety minerals, which is nothing to write home about. And for that reason, I'm refraining from from investing uh, in that. That's also uh, it's basically better to, 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 to build a mining station. You get the same uh, cost uh, for the uh, same maintenance to minerals uh, ratio because that also increases the maintenance by 0.5. Uh, but well, you get two, two for the cost of one. Silicon line form. Uh, life forms intriguing. Oh, yes, as you can see, we got plus, uh, plus three minerals out of that. And there are some aliens. Okay, so uh, this is going to be the end of this episode. Uh, what do they have here? So, uh, oh, those are pirates. Uh, okay, so this guy will continue. And uh, what was I? Well, I lost the train of thought. Uh, well, I will regain it in the next episode, and I will see you there. Cheers.